Hi everybody, and welcome to again a new episode of Diagnose Dan. Today we're working on this 2011 BMW 1 Series F20 model. And the customer complaint is we've got no power steering. There are warning lights all over the place. Now this car is equipped with electronic power steering, so let's find out what's wrong with it together. Now we've got all kind of warning lights and we've got absolutely no power steering. So I did a quick scan of the car and what I noticed immediately is that we've got a NOCOM with our electromechanical power steering or EPS. Now this is the EPS or electronic power steering and what it basically is is a big electric motor mounted on top of a normal steering rack. Now, there are two big wires going into the module to feed the electric motor and there are three little wires going into the module which is a, uh, a feed and two communication wires. Now, I already got the scope hooked up to the communication wires so let's see what the communication looks like. I've got the scope hooked up to the communication wires of our power steering. And this is actually what the communication looks like. Now, the power steering is communicating by flex ray. And flex ray is a very fast type of communication. And let's pause the image for a moment. Flex ray is communicating by two wires. And one wire should communicate from 2.5 to 3 volt, and the other wire should communicate from 2.5 to 2 volts. Now, let's put in some cursors where the 2.5 volt lines are supposed to be. Now, what we can see immediately is that the voltage on our communication lines are way higher than the 2.5 volt they're supposed to be. So, we've got to find out what's causing this higher voltage on our communication lines. Now what I noticed as I was checking for power and grounds is that when I connect my test light to the big positive wire of the electric motor and I'm touching the ground wire of the electric motor my test light is not lighting. Now, when I'm touching the steering rack itself, my test light is lighting. So there seems to be no ground on the ground wire, the big ground wire of our electric motor. Now what I also noticed is that the module has only got three wires, a positive feed and two communication wires. So the module is actually using the ground of the electric motor. Now I opened up a little piece of the insulation of the ground wire for our electric motor. Now what I want to do is temporarily fix the ground with this jumper wire and see if our signals return to normal. Right now the voltage on our communication lines are way too high so let's give it a ground and let's see if anything changed. Now this is how a flex ray signal is supposed to look like. Now let's disconnect the ground again and the voltage comes up again and giving it a ground and returning to normal and disconnecting the ground and the signal comes up again. Now with the temporarily ground wire in place I want to see if we can communicate with the power steering right now. So let's see. Let's select chassis and power steering and we can communicate again. The only thing we've got to do right now is find the break in that ground wire. 
Now the ground wire for our electric power steering motor is bolted to the right front chassis. And just look at this connection, guys. This is our problem. Now I made a brand new connection and I repaired the wire where we opened the insulation. So let's bolt it to the chassis and see if we've got a fix. Now with a new ground connection in place, let's check our ground one more time, let's be thorough. And we are reading zero ohms. Now just imagine that inside that cable, there's only one copper wire making contact to the chassis. We would still have a good ground. But this motor is drawing a lot of current and one little string could not carry such a load. So with this tool we can actually load our ground and if it's good ground it will pass and if it's a bad ground it will fail. And We've got to pass so we've got a good ground. Now just imagine guys this electric motor having a bad ground. When it's trying to turn it's drawing a lot of current and it's going to try to find the ground. Now it's probably going to do it by backfeeding into this module. And that's why we saw elevated voltage on our signal wires. But what it is also going to do is fry the module inside. And that's exactly what happened to this car. This is actually a brand new steering rack because the old one was totally fried. So be careful guys on this 1 series F20 models check the ground wire bolted to the chassis of your electronic power steering. A no com with the power steering module of this BMW because of a high voltage on our flex ray communication wires caused by a bad ground of our power steering motor. Interesting, right? Now, if you want to learn more and you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and you will get a notification each time I post a new video. And remember guys, diagnose then, fix it again. See you next time.